All right, guys, we're back doing the old rigs again. The rig we've been making today is the loop rig or the Portsmouth rig. Right, let's go through the components you need for the Portsmouth slash loop rig. Right, here's some of the components you need for the loop rig slash Portsmouth rig. The first things first, we're going to change it up today. We're going to use the Genomai Splashdown. Uh, you don't have to have this in the Portsmouth rig. But I'll explain what this is. It's an SRT spring and I'll go through it once we make the rig. I do apologise about that with my computer in the background. Um, the next thing is a cascade swivel. Obviously I'll explain more once we've done the rig. You need two swivels. Good boy finger two. Yeah, we need two for the one for the bottom and one for the top. And uh, we'll go through that again. Last but not least, your big swivel. We're going to be using some tubing just to tidy it up to make it look a bit better. And for the hook snoods, we're going to be using 15 pounds amnesia. And for the rig body, we're going to be using 80 pounds short shot. Right, first things first, let's get the rig body. Thumb and finger again. Out to your side, pass to your nose, do a little bit extra. I always like to make my rigs a little bit longer. Cut it there. Right, let's get the uh, first part done. We're using the Genomai splash down again. Right, fold them over. Right. One, two, three, four. Back through. Bit of spit. That's the first thing. Right. Next thing. Your bead. Your swivel. Another bead. Got there on the end. Another bead. <coughs> Excuse me. Your SRT spring. Another bead. Your swivel. <coughs> Another bead. Good catch. Another bead. Last but not least, the swivel. You're probably thinking, Gav, why aren't you putting crimps on there? I'm going to power gun them. Power gun them using the uni knots. I'm going to put the link up here, I believe. So click that if you want to see the uni knot, how to tie it. Alright, put that back through. So, you've got your swivel, you've got your bead, your swivel again, another bead, your SRT spring, a bead, another bead, swivel, bead, and your Genomai splashdown. Right. Obviously I've done, gone ahead and put the power gum on which would the uni not. I'm going to put the link, if you click the link up here, or over here somewhere, it will take you to how to tie the uni knot. For you mobile users, obviously I'll put the link in the description if you click that. So yeah, what I've done is obviously swivel, your bead, swivel, bead, SRT spring, your bead, your uh, bead, swivel, bead, and your Genomai splashdown. Obviously, I don't have any crimps, that's why I'm using power gun. Right, let's start from the bottom. See, keep me lying. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, put it in through the swivel. Come around. So one, two, three, four. 
this bit, ball down, right, fold your rig body in half, try and go, try and get the swivel and the beads together, like so, come down like that, so you've got equal length of the line, I do apologise about my boiler kicking in, obviously we're in the spare bedroom, slip it there, Obviously it's a bit long, we'll alter the rig. Use a bit of tubing. Put that on, like so. Now it's time for the uh, cascade swivel. Well, hopefully I'll put, tie this on properly. I have a, sometimes I put it the opposite way around, the wrong way around. So, let's see. Go one, two, three, four, back through the loop. Bit of spit. Pull that down. Take the tag end off. Pull your tubing down. Right so. It's only you know you don't have to do this, it's only just to tidy it up so it don't catch or anything. Right. Let me just get this line up there. Right. It's going well. I tied it the right way around. Happy days. So it should look like that. The point should be facing down towards the your bait clip, your um, Genomai splashdown, or your imp. So that's this bit here. This bit here has got to be pointing to your thingy, your um, Genomai splashdown, or your clip, uh, bait clip, or your imp. I do apologise for my stutter in there. So yeah, right, let's get to the next thing. Same again, get the amnesia and carry on with um, putting your hook snoot on hook snoot on now. So we go one, two, three, four. Obviously this rig is quite hard to tie. It's not the easiest rig. So take your time. Now if you don't get it right first time, just keep plugging away again. So we go we pull the line tight come back down like that so spiddly like so right, let me just get the gist of this so as you can see everything's equal hopefully if not we can alter that cut it there Right, let's move on to the top snood. And I'll explain what the SRT spring does. So, we go out there through the, through the swivel. We go once, twice, three, four. Back through the loop. Bit spit. Right, the SRT spring. It's just there just to cushion it, so it springs back. So when it's all um, clipped down, it'll be like that, and then it'll spring off, and it all flows nicely, it all pings off nicely. Right, let's get the bead and the bead together again. Go down the line. Like so. So that cascade swivel should end here. Yeah, right. I do apologise for the background noise. Right, now we're going to use some tubing for our bait stops. Hopefully, if you cut, cut that much off, like so, do two of them. Like there. <clears throat> Excuse me, put the tube in through, like so, and back round and through the tube in. So you've created a loop like that, it's gone in that, like that, a circular motion, as you can see, and then forms like that, and it goes up and down the line nicely. Right, we'll get the sequin, which we'll do the other end first. 
makes it easier. Get a bit more tubing. Yeah. It's just to tidy this uh, up around the cascade so it doesn't tangle or anything, just to make it look pretty. As you can see, like that, so like so. Right. Get your small bit of tubing again, your bait stop, go in and back through, like so. Like that, and it forms. Like so. Right, start with the bottom. Always start, always start from the bottom of this rig. So we're using, yet again, the Camazan match hooks, size ones. You know, you can use whatever hook you like. For personal preference, these ones. I love these hooks. So. Put the sequin on. Like so. Then you hook. So you go one, two, three, four, back through the loop. For this bit, put your thumb where the bend is of the hook, kind of like so. Pull. Clean your tag end off. Right. Hopefully, this is how the rig's gonna start forming now. So you get your general splash down, you put your hook in like so. Like that. Pull the pull the paddle bit down and it's the hook's in there. That hook's not coming out now. So you pull your line up like so. So it should. So there's your cascade swivel, always facing to your bait clip, yeah, splash down or your imp. There's your hook. Obviously, oh. Obviously you've got your beads, your uh, swivel. And yeah, right, let's do the next one. Now hopefully, this is all, all to standard. Right, same again, your sequin. And then your hook. <clears throat> so you go once, twice, three, four, back through your loop. Like so. Pull down, take your tag end off. Right, now's the fun part. <laughs> oh. Right, let's get a lead attached to this to make it easier. Like so. so we start again, splash down, hook, like so. Pull down, come up. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't have to alter the rig. Well, I'm quite happy with that first attempt. So, you've got your swivel, your two beads, your swivel again, sorry, and your SRT spring. Can you see, hopefully you can see the SRT spring compressed, and then obviously you've got your bead. Then you go down, so you've got your uh, tubing as your bait stop, and then your sequin, then obviously your hook, your cascade swivel, then yeah, again, another tubing, your sequin, another hook, bead, swivel, bead, obviously your power gun, and your gender splash splashdown. Right, hopefully, what I'll do, as you can see, I'm hoping you can pick this up on camera. As you can see, can you see, can you, can you see, Richard? Right, if you keep an eye on, you got your spring up here, as I pull tight, I'm going to pull the paddle down and everything's released. So that spring, the SRT spring, hasn't, it's 
uncompressed and everything's flowing nicely. So this is how you make the Portsmouth slash loop rig. I'm sorry it dragged on a bit. You know, I haven't made one of these for quite a long time. Um, I used to use this rig all the time. Loved it. But yeah, I'm hopefully, I hope you guys enjoy. I do apologise about that bit. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I'll see you on the next one. And remember to look in the description for the link with the uni knot or look up here and click this one if you're on the computer. And I'll see you on the next one, guys.